Welcome back to Just Cook Damn It. Today I'm going to be making a plate of tomato garlic ricotta pasta with some seared scallops on the side. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking my tomatoes and dicing them up into halves or fours. Then I'm going to take my garlic cloves, large ones, and I want to keep it all together so I'm just going to take and slice the top of the garlic cloves and peel off as much of the skin as possible. I'll take a glass casserole pan and place the tomatoes and garlic and then cover it with extra virgin olive oil, a good bit of salt, and a good bit of pepper. And afterwards, I take this casserole dish and place it in an oven that's been preheated 375. It's gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes to cook. And once you remove it from the oven, as you see here, it's just like popping pimples. going to have to prep is your parsley and or basil. In my case I forgot to buy some basil so we're just going to go with some parsley. Finally chop the parsley and basil. Get your blender out. Add in your tomatoes, your garlic, two to three spoonfuls of ricotta and blend this very well together. Once that's been blended together, you can just check the consistency of the pasta. Yeah, I know some people like their pasta a little bit liquefied. I like mine thick, so. After you blend the garlic and the ricotta and tomatoes, you want to add your parsley and your basil. Let's get this started with your scallops. So you take your scallops, rinse them off, pat them dry, and all you have to do is add salt and pepper on these bad boys on both sides. And put some oil on the bottom and sear them each side five minutes. That's it, five minutes each side. Once they're seared on each side, take the scallops out of the pan, put them on a plate so they can rest. Now all that little remnants of that seared scallops, you wanna keep that in the pan. And you wanna pop in your linguine or spaghetti noodles. Or would you just take your pasta, add it into the pan, Give that pasta a nice coating of all the leftover oil and the remnants of the scallops. And then we just add in and coat the pasta with your tomato, garlic, ricotta pasta sauce. You don't have to put too much in, you just want to make sure it's coated. Voila, you're done. All that's left to do now is just to enjoy them. Thank you for visiting. Please make sure to hit that like button and come back soon. God bless.